when he was there, there was always this anxious feeling and this feeling of, what's he going to do next? I guess I was sort of, I felt helpless and I felt uncomfortable and I worried about sort of the next person it would happen to. I remember um, looking at Sandra one day and, um, and thinking to myself that if she was in love with this man or this man was portraying to be in love with her, then why is it making her feel so bad? You almost don't want to wear a certain piece of clothing because you're like, that will be the outfit that gets me catcalled. That's obviously a trigger for guys to say something to me. Sometimes um, I do feel scared. People will continuously talk to you when it's when there's no sort of two-way or they'll follow you where you're going when you haven't asked them to and they'll ask you about your relationship status when you haven't invited that conversation. Some are you know quite forceful as well in terms of you know continuous beeping or hollering or you know something like that and it's just it's it's completely unacceptable. I was sexually assaulted at a party. My brother-in-law killed his wife and killed um, his mother-in-law. I have and continue to be catcalled in the street. While I was at university, I was unknowingly filmed while I was in the shower. I survived an abusive domestic relationship. We were together for a long time, but during that time, I can look back and quite safely say that there were very few really happy, relaxed and enjoyable times. And I remember one occasion which has just come to my mind when I was in the driving seat, he was in the passenger seat, he was incredibly angry and he reached over um, to my daughter who was in the back seat and he punched her incredibly hard. The main thing I suppose that sticks out for me is that if you've got any gut instincts, always, always go with your gut instincts. Always challenge what people um, have said to you um, and also go by your feelings as well. If I could go back now and speak to me <laughs> then, I would seriously say think of the other people that this is affecting. So now as a woman I feel empowered because of what people are doing in the world to sort of try and go beyond this. I feel empowered that I could report it. Women are not items, we're not possessions, you know we are equally humans the same as them and you know should be treated the same. I pledge that I will call out the behaviour that I'm not comfortable with and other people aren't comfortable with, no matter how awkward the situation is. It wasn't acceptable in the past, it isn't acceptable today and it certainly won't be acceptable in the future. If I see it, I will challenge it. Inaction is the same as agreeing with the behaviour that we're trying to stop. Male violence against women and girls is an issue and it's an issue here in Bedfordshire but one that we are really keen and committed to tackling through the various work streams that we have under our MVORG umbrella. But we need your help to say enough is enough and encourage reporting so that we can deal with those offenders. Don't be a bystander, please be an upstander. Could I be a survivor? rather than a victim. Yeah, that's why I said. So I feel like I am a survivor. So just that really.